Well, I have a cringy moment too. Oh, but go, you can, go ahead with your cringy moment because we're going to get real at the end of this podcast. And, I mean, uh, it's kind of a sad cringy moment. All right, go ahead. <laughs> let's get some of that sad, okay, sad yeah. cringy. So moment. it's a little sad. Um, um, we're going to tone it down for this next part. Um, <laughs> so it's I've been told sad. that. Um, welcome. To, <laughs> I can't. I have such a good radio voice. Oh, yeah. You're so great at welcome it. Please stop. To Amanda's cringe fest. Um, this is Brad. <laughs> I'm Amanda. Okay. It's nice to have you on today. So, anyway, I went in for. We have like our little miniature rotations as third years with in our clinic. Uh, we like to call them midget, but yes, no, keep going. we don't like or to call little people. It that. Hey, we never talked about the little people. Oh my god, there's a little person at the concert, and it was <laughs> oh so my cute. God. Anyway, oh, okay. um, she was probably my favorite part. Anyway. <laughs> She's the mascot. She was really cool. I love so little cute. people. Um, what do they call themselves these days? Little people. Little people. Yeah, that's, fucking that's little. There's a little. Called. There's a little people person. Little little, little person, person at U of A. He was a fucking best. Um, it was so cute. You have to like stand on stools and stuff to get like bartender's attention. But he knew it. He knew it. Like, and he yeah, loved it. He was like, it. yeah, and he was cool. They about work it. it. They're, yeah. They're awesome. Yeah, like if he was going to get in a fight with somebody, he'd be like, I will straight up fucking clamp my jaw into your nuts. <laughs> and I was like, that's the best thing I've ever heard. Anyway, keep going. Okay, here. anyway, so we have our miniature rotations because we're third years and they want us to like get the, the hang of the clinic and stuff. And so we basically go in there and we follow around the fourth years and we help them out. And so today, you know, we come in, it's almost like it's Christmas break, like 90% of my class did not show up to the rotations today, but I was, you know... I was studious. I showed up. I shouldn't have. But, okay, first of all, never name your animal lucky because then the most unlucky They're going to get cancer. Yeah. <laughs> they get fucking cancer or they get hit by a fucking car because that is what happens when you name your pet lucky. So don't do it. So we had this cat and his name was Lucky. And he had lymphoma, which he'd been diagnosed with lymphoma for a while. So And he was, like, doing well on chemo and whatever. But, so he comes in, like, he's just sneezing blood, and his, this, like, his eye is just pouring blood, and we're just like, this is the worst day ever for this poor guy. Were you, like, more, like, unlucky? No, we were like, <laughs> why? No. We, we went to the exam room, and the, the fourth year who had this case, she was like, oh, what's this cat's name again? She looks, she's like, it's, it's name is fucking lucky, are you oh, kidding it's a, me? it's a cat. Yeah, it's a cat. Oh, no. No, I know, I'm sorry. Could he else? <laughs> anyway, so they had this 14-year-old cat. Oh, it should die. Hey, it's 14. That's 170 in dog years. Cats can live like to 20. Oh, God. I should have thought of that before I got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, canals can be around for a while. That's like people who get parrots and don't realize they live like 60 years. They can live to be like 80 plus. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, poor Lucky is <laughs> sneezing blood and its eye is just so fucked up. And so... um. The doctor and the student doctor were both just like, yeah, there's probably a tumor behind the globe or a tumor in the nasal cavity, blah, blah, blah. And they're just like, basically, they called the owner back in after their physical exam and were just like, you know, like, like lucky suffering. Like, this is sad. And the luckily for you, we can put him down. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> but the owner, God bless her sweet soul. Like, she, she has done a lot for this cat, and I don't want to, like, bash her, but she was like, my husband's Christmas party is tonight. We can't put him down. And I'm just like, oh, my God. Make an ornament out of the cat. <laughs> Why? But it's just so sad. And so we were just like, oh, okay. Like, she was like, I can't cancel the party. Like, it has to happen. And, and so we're like, okay, well, we can, like, give him some pain meds and send you home with them and, like, please get it done soon. And then the doctor was like, when can you get this done? Like, this poor fucking cat is suffering. And it just always makes me cringe because around the holidays, people are, it's, I don't know, they always have other obligations and they always, like, it's either they, either they bring their dog in Christmas Day to put it down or, like, they won't put it down because it's Christmas. And it's like, eh. <coughs> That was very cringy today to like. I don't think it's cringy. I just think that's like disgusting. That's what cringy means. Ugh. Yeah. No, that, cringe is like that a happens feeling. A lot. I don't think thoughts. I think feelings. I don't think thoughts. I think feelings. And I think cringe. There's so a many feelings about this poor cat. Um. That's sad. That yeah, was a really sad. I'm note sorry. To, no, I told you it was this sad. This has cringe. been sad hour. That was just my day. You know. Well. That sucks. Yeah.